In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to fix auto sync disabled error or it just not working on your PlayStation 5. So auto sync basically means that it's going to upload your progress to the cloud, that kind of thing. Um, and basically sometimes you'll get an error that says it can't work or that it's disabled. And I'm going to teach you how to fix it. It's actually very simple to go ahead and do. So you'll find that this doesn't work on some games. And what I mean by that is some games you'll try to sync and it won't work. It will say it's not working, but most games will be fine. So what you want to do is you want to go to the top here and we're going to go over to the settings tab. Now from settings, we're going to scroll all the way down and we're going to go to this section called save data and game slash app settings. So we want to go ahead and click on that there. And then from there, we want to select PS4 or PS5. Now we're on PS5 obviously, but this will also work on your PS4. So we want to go over here and scroll to the bottom and go to sync saved data. So up at the top, it will say auto sync saved data. You want to click onto that there. And it's going to say to you to enable this feature while you close your uh, console while it's in rest mode, you need to basically change the power saving settings. So you can go ahead and do that if you want to. It's not necessary. But this is the bit that we're actually looking for here, which is the, all the games that have the auto sync enabled. So what you'll notice is games, so for example Sackboy here, it has it greyed out and turned off. Now a lot of the time you won't be able to turn it back on and that's kind of where the error is stemming from. So now I'm going to teach you how to actually go ahead and fix that. So the way that worked for me was I literally went up to here where it says auto sync and I turned it off for every single app or game and I just waited for a second, like a couple minutes. Then I turned it back on and once I turned it back on it will get us to close the games. And then you should be able to go down and find the ones that are turned off. You should be able to turn them back on and it should work from there. That's basically what made it work for me. Now you can go down to view sync status and it's going to tell you how the progress is on all of the different apps. So you can see that this one here, auto sync is disabled on this one. That's because we haven't got it turned on. But if you did what I just said, it will turn it back on. But you can also see here which ones have synced. So you can see Elden Ring synced. Ghost Runner 2 is checking sync status, which means it hasn't synced yet. But that's basically how you go about doing it. So if you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below that helped you out. And let me know if there's any other videos you'd like me to make, either on PlayStation 5 or any games in particular, and I'll go ahead and do that. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.